a stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so when you guys, okay, I actually had never considered this before, and I admit I could be levels of fucked up. When you guys think of the school shootings and stuff, you guys are always thinking like, if I was <clears> at the school, I could stop the shooter. Because I would always think like, if I was the shooter, I could have got way more kids. Oh, wow. That was, usually <laughs> my, that was usually the thought process that I was on. Oh, no, man. I'm you, on the you, other you side. Are, you're very right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll usually think about that. You, yeah, you, like you would play so many video situations. games, right? Yeah, yeah. we'd be like, uh, well, if I would have done that, I would have stormed from the north entrance. But then, if I were a kid, <clears throat> I would have I would have fleed this way and <clears throat> done this. And then in real life, I'd be there openly weeping. Destiny, under, Destiny work with me here. Library table. This is my technique. <laughs> like, hey, I wait, go is into this for school? shooting a school, hijacking a plane? Just uh, so the FBI can, like, A school shooting. This. Uh, like shooter right, okay. so I'm a teenager. They all know me. I go in there. My gun is somewhat uh, obscured by maybe my trench coat. Who knows? I act like they're hostages. You know, like I'm trying to hold them in the corner uh, until I get a better grade or whatever it is, and then I open fire. That's how I maximize my KD ratio. What's your plan? That I am okay. That it's a school full of terrorists, so I have no guilt. <laughs> I, honest to God, I. I honestly shouldn't say this because I literally just talked to the FBI two months ago because people submit tips that I'm going to do terrorist attacks, but ah, fuck it. I hope they don't want <laughs> So what I would always think, okay, now this seems fucked up, but let me tell you, this doesn't come out of my hatred for children. It comes out of my hatred for unnecessary queuing or lines, okay? What I would think is the easiest place <laughs> to kill a lot of people are in security lines. Now, one of the things that would happen in, in our cobble. school- Maybe, um, yeah, this was before, I guess, before we were doing like shooter drills or whatever. But anytime there was like an emergency drill, all of us would line up. We'd go outside and we all stand in these straight lines outside the building waiting for the fire marshal or the police chief to come and like clear everything. Mm -hmm. So I always thought, well, if I was going to do anything, I would just get a whole bag of firecrackers. I'd send them up at some point in the school and they'd all go off. And then when we'd all go outside and everybody was standing in nice straight lines in the middle of the crowd, I'd just pull them out and go crazy. It seems like the easiest place to get... But they could so easily scatter. Man, that is devious. But there's they could so easily what? Scatter. Now, nah, with you got like 800 kids all like that's a lot of targets. Can't outrun a bullet, man. He's going yeah, for collateral. You need a weapon that has lot, penetration. Not to mention there'd be like the, all the bodies absorbing the sound. People wouldn't know exactly where the shots are coming from. I think you could get You'd get a more lot of than people like through two. the trample effect as well. Yeah, there you go. You know, and and it turns out shooters do get credit for the trample effect, because Do I've they? heard people say, that guy in Vegas, he shot like 700 people. He shot like 50 people or something and got hundreds and hundreds wounded from the trampling. And so it's is just- Is that it? Because I, I might be I off mean, on he, this. This is a yeah. PKA stat, but I think he shot thousand died. rounds or more. Like he shot a lot of rounds. Yeah. I he had um, there's drums no way that he had shot, 100. He hit 700 people though. He was so far away. So he wounded 422 people, is what I'm seeing on my quick Wikipedia search. With oh, gunshot wounds, was, though? Was from the it trampling. was 851 injuries, 422 by gunfire. So, Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that, I was underselling him. That <laughs> yeah. probably was one of I the first... <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the first mass shootings in U.S. history where gamers around the world were like, eh. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, yeah. The, um, I don't have room to talk. It's, he he did, did his get, shit. Yeah. How come we never guys... found out anything about that guy? Like literally nothing has come out about that guy. It was like the next week, so, you know, Trump farted or ripped his yeah. pants or had toilet paper on his shoe. And they're like, Haha, that's probably true. Vi what <laughs> Vegas shooter? Real <laughs> life drama is actually really similar to internet drama. It's hard to tell, but if you're ever involved in some internet drama, all you have to do is hold your, just close your eyes and listen in three weeks, whatever the fuck it is, no one will remember it. And it's true. If you just keep making content, keep streaming, making YouTube videos, whatever the fuck you were talking about, everyone forgets about it. There's, in a few videos. I, there's something yeah. admirable about a guy who, like sort of keeps his chin up and pushes on, even though it's his moment in the barrel, right? He's in the doghouse yeah. right now. Uh, uh -huh. He could easily be hiding, but instead he's just like, hey, here I am. And that, That's I right. Know. When uh, 2013, a uh, girl hacked my Twitter, leaked my dick pics. Wasn't a good picture even. And I was, next day I went home. I just streamed, laughed about it. Two or three days, four days later, no one was bringing it up anymore. <laughs> I, yeah. just, I didn't even know about that. Through it. Yeah, there you go. You just yeah, pushed through it. About that. People stopped talking about it. Dick, what are you typing for there? What are you looking for, buddy? <laughs> Uh, no, I was just scrolling. It said new. Oh, okay. <laughs> just yeah, 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 All yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, that's how it. That's what happened to me after the uh, after Maddox released the rapist thing, 
And my that was the last day I used Facebook. But I was like, ah, <laughs> who cares? Like, so I'm going to have a drink. I've, I've made uh, we made dinner with my girlfriend and laughed it off. And then it went away. Maddox tried um, to me too you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys didn't know about that? I thought the $100 million, million dollar lawsuit or whatever? It, yeah. The this was before the half a billion dollar lawsuit. Um, Maddox. The, so the very first thing that Maddox this ever the did to me. This post thing, right? Uh, no, this was even before that. Oh, or, wow. I, I, this was yeah. This or this this was in tandem with that. Uh, he took a line from our old show after we broke up and had our own show. and I was just making fun of him like normal radio stuff. Uh, he cut out me saying we were in a heated argument. Uh, where destiny, as you know, I often don't make sense or I'm not able to phrase my thoughts very well in a heated argument. In the most coherent manner here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what? How dare you say that? Uh, I said something. I said, basically, women have an obligation to protect themselves because crime is kind of a force of nature. Like there's bad guys out there and you have a 100 percent obligation to protect yourself. Obviously, I didn't phrase it in that way, uh, but he clipped it out and said that he didn't want to work. with The reason he ended the show is because he didn't want to work with someone who was a rape apologist anymore and then found a found an 8chan thread that somebody had made that was uh, they used the name of my show and um uh, it, it had almost nothing to do with it but he sent that out and it was like um god it was 2016 so the me too shit hadn't even caught on but uh every a ton of female comedians in UCB grabbed onto it. Uh, I got kicked off of this long running show I was on that I was one of the main attractors. Like I was one of the big stars of as pathetic as it is for me to say out loud. It was good. Like it felt mm -hmm. good and it was fun for me. It was nice to have. Uh, I got kicked off that show within like two hours. Guy called. I was like, yeah, sorry, man. It's just the, if we don't kick you off, uh, they'll basically come to our houses and tear our balls off. So what was, we we had a guy who got me tooed um, falsely on the show a couple of weeks ago from Screen Rant. What was his name? Andy Senor, probably. Yeah, yeah that yeah. his case was nice guy too. Yeah, it really bothered yeah. me how how poorly he came out of that. Like he, he lost his gig and all that stuff. It, people know this is just a couple of weeks ago, but. He uh, w w was having an affair and was with his wife, or against against his wife. I don't know how to phrase it. With this woman, they multiple times. She was a repeat customer. They'd set it up in advance. They the next day, she'd be like, "When am I going to get to see you again?" Totally not a rape situation. But his attorneys perhaps gave him good legal advice, which was to stay quiet, don't talk about it. But it was terrible PR advice. So for like a year, her lies were just the accepted truth, and that. I don't know. Something about that sunk in with me. How awful that would be to happen. Yeah. Um, he was, if I remember right, he was not talking about it because he was also suing Defy Media, the company who fired him or who owned whatever company he got fired from. That was his reason because he wanted oh. to get something for his wife and that kids. On our show. I don't think he mentions it usually because, hmm. uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to guess. Um, but then that company went out of business. So I don't know if he's so just it was a bad if he strategy. won the lawsuit. I don't know if he got fucked out of the whatever windfall he was going for with his wife and kids. But yeah, it's a sad story. Yeah. So you guys are all kind of like at the um, in, in circles that are pretty deep in like these internet famous uh, corners of I guess the the internet. Um, <clears throat> do you ever notice? Uh, so uh, being big in like the streamer world, do you ever notice that you read a lot of drama online? And when you actually know the people involved and you know what actually happened, it's like a, it's like the worst game of telephone by the time people are like talking mm -hmm. about it publicly. Um, sometimes I wonder, even like when you read history, like how much stuff was actually like as spicy as people say it was. Because when you read shit on the internet, I read, even, a, even in the very thread that was posted about this show, I read about how apparently I was like fucking 15 year olds all throughout my early StarCraft II career and everything. And I was like, well, <laughs> this is this is because of crazy shit. I, <laughs> I either was too much Ritalin and I don't remember anything or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, it seems like, yeah, so much of what's on the internet is like, you know, kind of like Dick said, it'll start with like, um, so like you had that show. I, so I didn't see it. 
but I'm going to guess you're saying something like, oh, you know, you have a responsibility to keep yourself safe or whatever. You know, you yeah. clip it and cut it a little bit. And now it's, you know, Dick was saying, well, women are in charge of not being raped. And then when that gets reported and then talked about, you know, two weeks later, somebody's typing, well, Dick Masterson says that when women are getting sexually assaulted, it's because they deserve it and they want it to happen. And that becomes mm -hmm. like the, the new fact. Oh, it was it's said canon. flat out. Is uh, Maddox said that I said they deserve it, and mm -hmm. and, and f I mean framed it in the worst possible. Like in in here's the point I'm making. Uh, framed it in a way that is totally unbelievable for any reasonable person to think, and um, people just eat it up because they like they want to believe that this horrible monster exists. Yeah. And it's more entertaining to believe reason. it. Well, and and they never yeah. ever listen to the source. Never. No. It'll only be the. It won't even be the article. It'll be the headline of the article. No one will have ever heard. Um, I have to be careful of that one stream. Someone will give me a news. Did you hear this guy said this? Mm -hmm. And it looks bad. And I want to, you know, this is going to be funny. I'll go off on this. But like, wait, 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 real quick. Let's just listen to the the full video. Not the 22 seconds. Let's just do like the two minute clip. And it's yeah. never as horrible. It's always like, no. yeah, it was kind of dumb. He should have said that. But he's in not the articles like... they write about it, they'll mm -hmm. sometimes they'll do that shit where they won't put the real truth in the headline. They won't put the real truth in the body of the article until like paragraph 17, where mm -hmm. they're like, and everything that you've heard here today is from Reddit user r slash cooter eater 69. <laughs> it's like, are you fucking high? Like, yeah. they really do do that shit now. Like they'll like real real ass publications like the Washington Post will be like, you know, Twitter users aflame with anger over another Twitter user, and it'll like list and it's like people angry people with like forty eight followers, like yeah. some boomer dad with sunglasses standing by his grill or some one of those like weird anime pictures like that people have. So it, it's just ridiculous. You can really. Th that must be a dream for journalists to have something like Twitter where they can be like, hmm, what do I want to write about today? Oh, I'll just search a term. Wow, five people are talking about it? Twitter's aflame with <laughs> that kind of shit. I mean, I, it's probably a dream and a nightmare. It, it probably starts as a nightmare and maybe turns into a dream. Because I imagine you probably maybe. go, I, I would imagine or I would hope that anybody that pursues some some interest is doing it out of you know some righteous passion, I imagine. And then maybe you, you get your first job and it's like, I want to do a real hard-hitting investigative thing. And it's like, you could. Or you could just go ahead and take like the five most popular Twitter mentions and then go ahead and throw them in the story. We can call it quits, you know. Like I, I imagine people yeah. probably get um yeah disinterested after ha yeah. having to go through the process so many times. Yeah. I mean, how hard would it be to like find to hard hit a story that could be broken to the degree that you could make a li like make a living off of it? There's just not that. You know, even if you found the most compelling story there is on the planet right now and spent whatever years investigating in it. You you can live off that salary. Like, well, you can I mean, live off that initial boom. No, no yeah. one's talking about the Panama Papers. It was a real big story. That guy, like nobody well, talked the, about. The, in fairness, the reporter's talking dead. About Epstein anymore? Yeah, either. the reporter. Yeah, no one. Yeah, Epstein is going to be old news. Give that a week or two. Like, yeah, of course. These huge, hard hitting. There was a big one about Trump and his son, and like some big tax fraud. Thing. Like all of these huge, groundbreaking pieces are breaking ground for like five to six days max, and then no yeah. one's talking yeah. about it again. The news cycle goes, people forget, and it's the next big thing. I wonder if the news cycle like, will yeah. change back post Trump, right? Like, you know, news cycles have no, always been set a thing. Precedent. And Trump is Trump no, is a but, symptom. It's not like Trump is causing the news cycle. Like in, in a oh, large part, Trump is wait, here because of the news I cycle, I think. Oh, I yeah. think that yeah. Trump has a special power to get attention and, and he does things that are a little wilder. You know, like Obama didn't take a Sharpie to a weather map and say I was right about Alabama. He, he never did anything like that. Well, I mean, he's good wait. at pulling <laughs> eyes and that's what those guys are trying to do at the end of the day is get advertising. He's good at pulling so eyes. Is, so the question is, will the news cycle... Go back to as rapid fire as it is now when the next president doesn't pull eyes. Well, I mean, like the, it, it's like when you walk into a store and you see a kid and the kid is a real whiny piece of shit. He wants a candy bar. Parent says no. And the kid is screaming for it. Now, maybe this is me being a parent of an eight year old. I don't see like a whiny bad kid. I see a parent that probably gave into that kid way too many times. Mm -hmm. And I kind of look at Trump the same way. Like, I don't think that Trump all of a sudden warped the whole news cycle. I think that, you know, media is just always looking for hits. They're looking for whatever the headlines are. And then a guy stepped up and wanted to give it to him. like, oh, fuck, like he got millions, hundreds of millions of dollars of free press because he was entertaining. And that's what the, the news cycles are looking for, right? They just want clicks. Yeah, they just want visibility. And they are not going to slow down after this. Mm -hmm. They're going to find new targets of people. You know, they won't be able to rely on one dude the way they are with Trump, but they'll they're going to have to keep it amped up, turned up to eleven. Like that's their business model now. That mm -hmm. that's what they have to do. If they don't, like uh, after all the Russia shit came out and that story died, 
look at what happened to uh, like MSNBC's ratings. Mm-hmm. Tanked. Just fucking boo. And so they know, fuck, when Trump gets out of office, we have to keep this amped up. We have to keep these stories turned up to 11 or we're going to suffer, you know, cataclysmic failure. And in addition to the fact that new media online is already eating their fucking lunch, which is kind of fun to see. Yeah, but uh, your argument that they have to, I agree with, that they're going to be able to, well, that's not proven, right? You know, Oh, like, I don't know. You know you MSNBC's know, ratings fail. tanked after uh, the whole Mueller report thing came out. Okay, yeah. I agree with that. That, But the next guy that comes along, they're not going to be able to just manufacture that kind of success just like they weren't able to manufacture it right then yeah if you're saying they might not be able to i agree with you i'm saying that they're going to do everything in their power to try they'll they'll Mm. you know throw a bunch of options out there this guy's doing this oh wait wait. no that's not that interesting oh there's a global pedophile rape ring oh we can't talk about that you know (laughs) talk about epstein you're going to get a bunch of views Somebody will be incentivized to be that jackass that they need. Like if that's the behavior they're going to write about, and they need to keep on, uh, uh. they need to keep the lights on. Then they're somebody will figure out how to be that jackass. You know who uh, hasn't yeah. come back that I expected to come back? Milo. I thought Milo would have his career resurgence. By he now. crossed the pedophile line. Was too much. That's still like uh, a. I can get over that. <laughs> 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 I think. Yeah. I what think, the fuck? What's he doing now? He was. He's on telegram. He's, That's he's all he's on, doing. <laughs> no, he's he's writing on Gab about how angry he is that uh, none of the other platforms are taking up. There was he's, something that was released about him like a month ago. He was really upset that there are no users on like D Live or these other alternative platforms. D Live. He um. He's funny and he's conservative, and there aren't many like that. That's a really small market. All the funny people are liberals. Is he really conservative? Milo. Something. Yeah. Like that, oh, yeah. Is he? Uh, I think it's how yeah. we describe. Himself. I just remember the main thing about him when we had him on the show years ago was him just like every time Catholicism came up, and we'd be like, "Yeah, but like." He would let me guess. He yeah. would talk about how good Michael or whatever taught him to give head. Is that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I've uh, heard that story fifty fifty yeah. million times on everything I've listened to him. Yeah, he always he's, he's pro religion. That. He calls Trump daddy, which I think he means in a, in a really nice way. In a really, <laughs> in, in, a, in a strictly gay way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, like he would be all all Mister, you know, edgy out there. Oh, I'm conservative and all that. And then we'd be like, yeah, you're like, how do you reconcile being Catholic and being being gay and stuff? And he, remember that we like we just asked him about it just to ask. Not like any of us give a fuck if he sucks cock or not. And he like he would not address it. Not at all. Just like skipped right to the next thing. Just just gallop right over you. Boy, girl, so if you suck cock, I'm on your team. Sucking cock is a very Catholic thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, the eighth sacrament, I think they call it. The you know, yeah. he came on this show, whatever you know, it was, what three years ago. All this pedophilia in the Catholic Church has been just priests sucking off the boys the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> there's, been, there's been nothing but that. It's just them them doing the deed. We should I get him back on funny. and relaunch his career. That wouldn't be funny at all. <laughs> 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 Holy well, shit! Yeah, probably can not. you when you title this? You can put dicks. Just don't don't put me in the title for this episode. Again. Oh, I feel no. like we've crossed more lines than normal. Jesus, we've got school shooting fantasies, and now we are championing the Catholic Church's no, widespread molestation of Catholic those were, boys. Destiny's school shooting approaches. fantasy in the title.